Hi, my name is Oliver Bonacorso from MGI Tech based in Melbourne, Australia. Thank you for joining today's webinar where I'll be presenting our complete workflow for single cell sequencing and introducing our DNB eLab C4 pocket size single cell lab. This 10 minute presentation is intended to provide you with a brief introduction into this novel technology. In order to perform next generation sequencing at single cell resolution, cells or nuclei in a single cell suspension must be isolated and individually barcoded prior to library preparation and sequencing. The DNB Lab C4 is a compact device which quickly generates barcoded transcripts from single cells. By adding emulsion oil, single cell suspension, and barcoded magnetic beads to the chip, the DNB eLab C4 utilizes negative pressure to combine these components to generate droplets containing a single cell and a single barcoded magnetic bead. Within the droplet, the cell is lysed and RNA is captured onto the bead. The droplets are recovered in the collection well of the chip, ready for downstream processing. In the next slide, I'll play a short video which summarizes the complete workflow. As seen in the video, MGI provides a complete solution for single cell RNA-seq from cell to data. This workflow is comprised by the generation of single cell droplets, RNA capture and barcoding by the DNB eLab C4, demulsification and filtering of magnetic beads, followed by reverse transcription, cDNA synthesis and library preparation, which can all be automated on our sample prep 100 or 960 platforms. We then sequence libraries on our DNB-seq sequencers and perform data analysis using software provided by MGI. Once the sequencing data is generated, you may also use your own analysis and visualization tools. So how does the DNB Lab C4 perform? Let's look at some key metrics as published in BioArchive in 2019. Firstly, we demonstrated that the DNB Lab C4 is able to consistently produce single cell droplets as evidenced by the low multiplet rate of just 2% in this example where human and mouse cells were combined in the initial cell suspension and total UMI counts compared. Our claimed multiplet range is anywhere between one to 5%. We then looked at the average number of genes and transcripts detected and found these comparable to other existing technologies. We consistently identified between five to 8,000 genes and 25 to 40,000 transcripts per cell. 
Another important performance metric of single cell sequencing is the ability to detect rare cell populations. In this example, a 99 to 1 ratio of cells were prepared followed by single cell RNA-seq using the DNB Lab C4. Despite this low input, the NPSCs were accurately detected. In terms of library requirements for sequencing, we typically recommend 100,000 reads per cell. This equates to one DNB eLab C4 sequencing library per lane on our DNBSeq G400 sequencer. Our DNBSeq G400 sequencer has four lanes per flow cell and can run two flow cells at a time, with a total minimum output of 320 GB of sequencing data across eight DNB eLab C4 libraries. For researchers using other products and workflows for single cell sequencing, you may also sequence your single cell RNA-seq libraries on our DNB-seq platforms by performing a simple library conversion step to generate MGI compatible libraries in as little as four hours. Our DNB eLab C4 technology was recently used by researchers who published in the Journal of Clinical and Translational Medicine in January, 2021. The researchers used single cell sequencing to elucidate the immune microenvironment in colorectal cancer. They collected tumour and paired non-tumour tissues of patients and performed single-cell RNA-seq using SmartSeq2 and DNB eLab C4 technologies. They were able to assess 9,770 cells using the DNB eLab C4, which is almost two and a half times our initial stated claims of 1 to 4,000 cells recovered per library. The DNB C4 was able to detect a broader range of cells as compared to the SmartSeq2, as seen in red in the middle panel. It was found that T cells showed high expression of heat shock proteins, which was consistently observed by both technologies. This was later also confirmed not to be a result of cell stress or shock from sorting, as validated by immunofluorescence experiments. A critical finding, assisted by the DNB eLab C4, was that IgG secreting plasma cells were significantly enriched in tumor tissues and their infiltration levels gradually decreased along the center to the periphery of the tumor. In summary, some of the key findings of this paper were that IgG secreting plasma cells were dominant in the tumor center and decreased progressively from the tumor center to normal adjacent tissue. Therefore, a blockage of IgG might be used as a potential targeted therapy for colorectal cancer. Comparing colorectal cancer tumor with paired non-tumor samples revealed significant changes in the proportion and functional states of TNB cells. So these interactions could also be a potential anti-tumoral mechanism in advanced colorectal cancer tumors. And for the first time, this study identified six subtypes of B cells in colorectal cancer, which provided a comprehensive transcriptomic profile, which add to the resources for identity to find clinically relevant predictive markers for immunotherapy. Uh, so for further details on this paper, um, please access this online through clinical and translational medicine. Thank you for your attention. I hope that the DNB eLab C4 will enable further discoveries in your single cell experiments. Please feel free to contact me or your local MGI representative for further details.